In this video, we'll show you how to teach a live lesson in Mobi using virtual meeting software. While schools are closed, a live virtual class can be a great way to deliver direct instruction to students, maintain some continuity in their learning, and continue to promote a sense of classroom community. We'll break this video into two parts. In part one, we'll show you how to access and use virtual meeting software. In part two, we'll show you how to create a lesson in Mobi Max that you can use during your virtual class. The first thing you'll need to conduct a live virtual class is virtual meeting software. This will allow you and your students to join a live meeting over the internet where you can share your screen or your webcam and conduct a class just as if your students were sitting in front of you in your regular classroom. There are a ton of options for virtual meeting software, but we're going to point you towards a product called Google Hangouts because it's free, it works on any computer, and it's very easy to use. You'll need a Google account to use Hangouts, but if you use Gmail, Google Docs, or Google Classroom, you already have one. If you don't already have a Google account, it's free to create one. Once you have a Google account, head to hangouts.google.com in any browser. When you're ready to start your meeting, just click the video call button. The first thing you'll be prompted to do is invite students to your meeting. You can invite students in one of two ways. You can either enter their emails here and click invite, or you can click copy link to share and then send that link to your students via email or text or any other ways that you communicate. You can also schedule meetings in advance by creating an event in Google Calendar. Once you've invited your students to your meeting, all they have to do to join your meeting is click the link that you sent them. Let's take a look at a couple of the features you can use while you're in your virtual meeting. You can click this button to mute and unmute your microphone. You can click this button to share and unshare your webcam. And in the upper right, if you click these three dots, you can choose to share your screen with everyone else on your meeting. Now that we have a way to meet in real time with students, we'll move on to part two of our video where we'll show you how to prepare a lesson for your live class using Moby's whiteboard activities. To access Moby's whiteboard activities, Click on Interactive Class from your Mobi Central homepage, and then click on Whiteboard Activities under Classroom Tools. Whiteboard Activities allows you to pull problems from Mobi's curriculum or make your own to create a lesson that you can walk through with your students in real time. For example, let's say I wanted to create a reading lesson and choose a text from Mobi's reading library to read aloud with my students when we meet for our virtual class. Let's take a look at how we can do that with Whiteboard Activities. To begin creating a lesson, click Create New Lesson. Here you can choose to create a new lesson or look at a pre-existing lesson. I'm going to create a new lesson for now. Next, we'll choose a subject, a grade level, and a name for our lesson. I'm going to do a reading lesson, and I'll choose grade three, and I'll call this Monday's reading lesson. When you're ready to add problems to your lesson, click Add New Problem. You could select from Moby's curriculum, or you can create your own problems. I'm going to select a text from Moby's curriculum, so I'm going to choose this option for now. Here you can see all of the subjects from which you can choose content for your lesson. I'm doing a reading lesson, so I'm going to choose the Reading Stories module. My lesson's in grade 3, so I'll set my grade level to grade 3. And here I can see all of the leveled texts that Moby has in its grade 3 reading library. This lesson looks interesting for my students, so I'll open it and choose one of the stories within. Here, we can add each of the pages of this story to our lesson so that we can read it aloud with students in our virtual meeting. Click the Add button to add the pages to your lesson. If you'd like to see the pages in a larger window, simply click the thumbnail to view a larger version of the page. At the end of this lesson, you'll also notice that there are some comprehension questions on the text. I'm going to add these as well because I think it'd be great to go over them in my virtual class with my students. Once you've added all the content that you need for your lesson, click Save. On this screen, we can see each of the pages that we've added to our lesson, and if we scroll to the bottom, we can also see the comprehension questions that we've added. Once we're happy with our lesson, we click Save. All of the lessons that you create will show up on this Whiteboard Activities home screen. When you're ready to meet live with your students, all you need to do is start up your meeting like we showed in part one of this video, and click on your lesson title. Moby will open your lesson in a separate problem viewer that will allow you to click through any stories or problems that you've added to your lesson. You can share your webcam to read the story aloud, and even share your screen if you'd like students to take turns reading a page. At the end of the story, you can work through the comprehension questions you added with your students and answer any questions they might have in real time. Hopefully this video has given you some ideas about how you can use Moby to help teach a live virtual class.
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help.